Yo, hey, what's up everybody? Today I am going to be mixing it up. I am going to be doing a lot, a lot of different things and I'm going to throw them all together and make one maybe 10, 15 minute video. I'll see how much stuff I can throw into it. I just want to show you guys what's going on and what I've been up to and what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I am going to be evolving this Walla Walla and I have a couple of things to help me out here. I have 22 dungeon entry cards and I have 44 monster passes. So let's get to it. I'm gonna click the evolve button and then I am going to be right back and we're gonna see, whoop, not that way. Oh, there we go, okay. There we go. And we're gonna check out his stats. So we're at 48, 78 damage. We're at 47, 780 for HP. And let's see what happens to him. We're gonna be getting 178 books back. And let me get this sucker leveled up a little bit. And I will be right back. And we're back. That only took me maybe 10 or 15 minutes and it's really, you know, kind of pointless for me to record that because all I'm doing is sweeping HBM and sweeping dungeons. I did leave two, um, not two, but five Here Be Monster Passes. That way when I do HBM AD tomorrow or after tomorrow I'll be doing that, I will have a couple of extra ones. So here we go, let's upgrade this bad boy. And we're up to 6,300 damage and 87,000 HP. Now, that HP looks really, really, really low to me. So, I guess we're going to have to do something about that. And, um, let's check out his crest. I have him inscribed to 95. I have four war guide crests on him. And the reason I have that is because that's just what's there for now. Let's go to equipment. Now we're definitely going to have to do something about this. We're definitely going to have to level them up to 20 out of 20 really fast. Let's get that done. Let's see how far I can get. Uh, we need to get rid of some 7. Alrighty. Let's get rid of 15 of these. Let's get rid of... Uh, oh, I don't know. How about 20 of these? That should be plenty. That should be plenty. Maybe. 17, 18, 19, and look at that. Ah, uh, was close. 400k. Let's make it 600k just in case. And there we go. 20 out of 20 in his new equipment traits we don't have yet and I'm probably not going to have for a while because I don't have the fame and I don't have duplicates so not too shabby now I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this guy I mean I have him at 8 out of 10 he's got a really 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 crappy talent I'm gonna have to figure something out for him his inscriptions at 95 which isn't too bad so I'm just gonna have to figure out where to put this guy I definitely want to put him in uh in in my lost battlefield team. The thing is is I just don't know where I could put him. I mean I have Ghoulam healing this team. Maybe I can move up Phantom King and put Walla Walla behind Phantom King. Or maybe since his talent is revive, I can just replace him where Ghoulam is. But I don't know yet. Maybe you guys can give me a suggestion on what I can do with him. But for now, I'm just going to leave my teams the way they are. And since I haven't done this yet, I'm going to do it now. There's a 249. Let's see how I do it. Alright, I usually do my Valentina team first, then my Ares team, and then I leave my Pumpkin Duke team for last. And uh, usually... I don't get to the Pumpkin Duke team because if I'm lucky enough I'll win the first two. But my Pumpkin Duke team does pretty good with having Rockno in there. They pretty much take care of it for me so never have any worries there. 
Alrighty, it's gonna be pretty, pretty easy teams for me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so easy. And what I usually try to do is, um, when I do attack these teams, I make sure that the teams I am attacking, if I get lucky and try to get non-evolved teams, that way I can take them out and take care of them really easy. But, you know, when you get to the last two or three days, and you're getting up there in points, it gets really, really hard. But I would rather fight a lower point team that I know I'm going to beat than a really high point team that I might lose to because I'd rather take a low point victory like this 195. I'd rather take that 195 victory and get my 20 or 25 points or 23 points or whatever it might be over a loss because with a loss you only get 10 points and this way I'm guaranteed that I'm going to win it and even though their points are less than mine I got 29 points now 29 points is three times what losing points will be so here's a 264 we'll take that one out and that's basically my strategy for this my strategy god I wonder <laughs> can't even say that word but that's my strategy is I go for the teams that I'm pretty sure that I know I'm gonna be able to beat and be guaranteed a win than fighting a team that I might lose to and then only get 10 points because I don't want to lose I want to win my battles and I want to get the points for winning. it see there's a 267 it's about 25 points less than me, but I'd rather attack it because I know I can beat it because it's showing a non-evolved hero and <laughs> my Michael could probably take care of this by himself or even Grim. I know Tree couldn't do it by himself, but Grim or Michael could do it. And I'm going to get my Ares proc, my Dreadrake proc, and boom, that's it. It's all gravy. Up, and we hit our 300 point mark sweet see 30 points better than a loss now what I like to do here is when I get on the game late at night when uh, we do boss 3 and boss 5 with these 3 out of 5 chances what I'll do is I'll scroll through it I'm gonna do it now and I'll look at it. there's a 320 now they probably haven't done it yet or even if they have then it's still only two points less than me so what I'll do is I'll let this sit like this and then tomorrow when I get on I know I have at least one guaranteed victory that's gonna give me about 30 points or so alright now that's done what else should we do oh I wanted to show you guys my crest um, I made um, another stone skin for so now I have two of those. I also made another slow four. So I have two slow fours now. And I don't think I'll be getting any fives, but I have a lot of fours. As you're gonna be able to see, there's a revite four. I have uh, two bulwark fours, I have a scatter four. So what I try to do is I try to get all my crests to four and make sure that my heroes have four sets. And um, like if I have four three sets and one four set and I know I'm going to be using like my revives, I have four revive three sets. And the reason I haven't made that into revive four is because when I'm running lava three, I like to have revive on at least three of my heroes. Pumpkin Duke. I don't have Revive on, I run Revitalize 4 and Ghoulam, I also run Revitalize 4, but like Reaper and uh, Phantom King, oh, and um, who else, Spirit Mage, um, I have a Revive on Siren, so when we're doing Boss 5, I use that, so I like to have it where I don't have to constantly have to move my crest they're already on where they're supposed to be and it saves so much time and I think I need one of these revitalized twos oh look at that yeah I'm still a couple away from that revite three set but I try to make it make it so all my heroes 
even in Lost Battlefield, with all my teams, they all have the crest that I pretty much want on them, and I don't ever have to change it, so they're all set. Boom, I go here, I can do it. If I want to go into lava, oh, that's Infernal Summit, <laughs> but I don't do that. But, oh, what did I do? What did I do? But whenever, like I want to run Wretched Gorge 2, I just hit create, start, put my team where I want it. And I don't have to worry about changing crest because all the heroes have the crest that I want on them. When I go to lava, same thing. Anywhere that I go, my heroes are pretty much set up and I never have to worry about changing the crest. And that's the way I like it because some of these game modes that you do, it's just such a pain to have to always change crest. And that's why I leave them the way they are. You know, I leave my extra revives because I know I need them for lava and all the other ones I got up to level four. And I don't know why Little Nick always dies here. Little Nick always dies. Now I know I could probably change them for somebody else, but the reason I don't do that is because when they get revved up with Pumpkin Duke, it helps clear out the next wave. It kills a whole bunch of them and makes it easy. But um, I think that's going to be it for this one for today, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. And peace.